In this week's video, I want to share with you the top five reasons why it is you get road rage, so you can stay in control when you're behind the wheel. Let's make a start. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Philip, and if this is your first time here and you want to see weekly videos helping you to stay in control of your thoughts and feelings, remember to like this video and hit the subscribe button. And the first reason is because your car is an extension of your home. Imagine, for example, someone builds a house so close to yours that when they open their door, it hits your house and sends shudder through the house, which wakes you up when you're asleep or just disturbs you when you're trying to watch TV. And the same feelings come up for you when someone drives their car a little bit too close to yours. You feel angry, you feel threatened. You feel like your space has been invaded. So what do you do? You want to tell them to get away from you, to get out of your space, to respect you and respect your home. And leading on from that, reason two is because you feel shocked or surprised. Because you're not expecting someone to drive their car so close to you. And whenever you feel shocked or surprised, again, that mechanism to keep you safe comes right up inside you and makes you want to push that other person away. And reason three is because you feel justified and safe of being that angry with someone when you're in your car. Imagine you got as angry as you get in your car to someone in the street. You shouted at them, you swore at them, you told them to go away, they're wrong. What do you think would happen? That person could turn around and hit you. That person could turn around and start shouting at you. It puts you in danger. Whereas when you're in your car, you have the walls around you and in that space you feel entitled to be as angry, as rude, as aggressive as you want. Because again, it's your space. You've paid for that car. It feels homely, it feels you, it feels just right. And lastly, reason five is because your car has led you to feel empowered and justified in being however you wanna be, whenever you wanna be it. All the above points show you that the reason why you feel angry and get road rage when you're in your car is because you feel it's okay to do so. Remember, it's your property. You could do whatever you want in your house and you feel your car is just your house but on wheels. And again, because someone is getting so close to you and endangering you, you feel it's okay. You feel that you can do it because you're allowed to. And sometimes we can feel we're allowed to do things, but they can actually be hurting us. We've all been taught to let out anger because if you let it out or share it, it means that it will decrease, it will go down, and you won't be angry anymore. But actually there's a study that's just come out that shows that talking about anger doesn't limit it, all it does is make you feel angry again. The way we get rid of anger is to understand and use its message in a productive way. What's that anger trying to tell you? What is it trying to help you to achieve or to grow into? What do you feel frustrated in? And then you can work out a way in which you can use that anger in a productive way, leading to growth, change, and happiness. And that's what I want to leave you with this week. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe to see plenty more videos to come. I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, and by the way, if you've got a question that you want me to answer, please do either send me an email or leave me a comment and I'll answer your question in a future video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.